What's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo P video. This one's gonna be about how to use a magic wand tool. There are three different things you can do with the magic wand tool. There's object selection, quick selection, magic wand. So stick around and we'll get it done. Alright, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go over to your left side, the toolbar. There's a dotted square with like a little like mark in the middle of it. You want to right click that and that's how you can see your other choices. We're going to start out with object selection though. So just left click on that. And now you can see your cursor looks like a cross. So basically how this works is you just have to highlight something by holding left click and dragging it. So we're going to do this little creeper down here. Like I got to get it right so like that. And you can see there's a dotted line around them. So what you can do is you can hit control and C and then control and V to paste. So basically what that did was, was that cut out the copy of him and pasted it. So if I hide this layer over here by hitting the eye, I can see just the creeper. And that's when you can zoom in and cut around the edges with the lasso tool, which I made a video about that. It was my latest video, so check that out if you want to know how to do that. And also what you can do is you can double click on that new layer and you can add effects to it. Just it, only that. So you could add like um, a stroke, really whatever you want. So it kind of, you can make your thumbnails look pretty cool if you did it right. So that's how that works. Pretty easy, but it works really well on this one because they're like blocks. There's not much curves or anything that it has to get around. So this is like a case where it works pretty good. We're going to go back over to the top left on the toolbar. Click this, right click this box again. And now we're going to click on quick selection. So left click on that. And now you should have a circle as your cursor and it's probably going to be small like around here. So how you change that is you go to the top left. There's a little circle right here with a number under it. Just left click on it. And you can use this little scroller to make the size bigger. We're going to go around 78. And so basically how this one works is when you when you left click or hold it, it highlights a big portion of it. So it's not really accurate, but if you make it smaller, it could be actually. So if you want to make it like 19, you can highlight your control Z to go back. Yeah, it's just not, you can't really get detailed with it, but if you wanted to make this guy a different color, you could do, you could highlight it, hit control C, hit control V. Now it's its own layer. So if you wanted to go to color overlay and then change the blend mode to green or multiply, you could change the color of this guy. You can make it nighttime out. Let's go to like a dark blue. So you see, we kind of made it look like it's nighttime, which it's really cool actually, but it doesn't really work because of the sun is like lighting up these characters, but that's what that one does. Now let's go back over to the left, right click it. And now we have the actual magic wand. So this is my favorite one. It works kind of similar to the others, but it's a little bit different. So what you can do is you can select portions of it and it selects whatever color. So like if you do, I have to zoom in. Make sure you select your layer with the whole picture rather than just one. So now if I go back over to the magic wand, I can select parts of his body. Like if I want his eyeball, delete that, delete that. It's kind of, okay. It's not really working out too well, but you can just, uh, it's good for removing white from the background. Like you see how the background's like a solid color. If you left click on it, it selects a lot more of a portion than, um, just like different colors do. So you can hold shift and select more than just one spot until you have it all covered. Then when you can, you can right click on it, you can do magic cut. Which basically all that does is it completely screws up the entire <laughs> terrible idea. Do not. I didn't know what it did. I was going to figure it out and I regret it. So yeah, you can select different colors and then you can hit delete and it deletes it. 
it's actually not really good for this situation, but I will show you a situation where it works really good. So check this out. I see, you see, I got a guy right here, but he's got white all around him. So it looks so dumb. And he's also got this gray little creeper face. So in order to make it where it looks like he's actually supposed to be there, you can go to your magic wand tool, left click anywhere on the white part and it selects all of it. So now you can just hit delete, control D to deselect. And then click this little gray face, delete, get rid of all the edges. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, hold up. We got an issue. Okay, so how you do this is make sure this layer selected. Get your lasso tool. Lasso select. Draw a big circle around it. Hit delete. And it only deletes what's on that layer. So works out. Now we got this view dude right here. He looks like he actually uh, somewhat belongs here. I can like put him behind this mountain or whatever. I don't know where that's supposed to be. Bear with me. I'm trying to come up with something on the spot. Yeah, check that out. Doesn't really work, but he's like hiding. He's like creeping around. It's kind of cool. Uh, so that's all you got to do. That's magic wand and you got all those other ones. So these are all situational. Make the right choice on which one you use. Quick selection fails 90% of the time, so I would not do that. Magic wand only works with solid colors. And object selection actually works pretty good if you do it right. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.